EC2, which stands for Elastic Cloud Compute, is AWS service that gives us virtual machines to run our applications on them. Amazon calls these instances instead of virtual machines or servers. EC2 gives us AMIs, which stand for Amazon Machine Image. These machine images will have all the required software like the operating system and the software depending on the application we want to deploy and work with. For example, if it's Java application, we can pick uh, AMI with Java already on it. If it's a Python, then we pick Python. If we require a MySQL database, that AMI is also available. And of course, we have Docker as well. So we will have AMIs with the combination of all these as well, like Java, Python, MySQL, and Docker. If you pick that particular AMI, if you launch an instance out of it, you will have all these software ready to use. You simply have to pull them, as you will see in the next few lectures. So once you pick an AMI, launch this instance, you can connect to these instances from anywhere on the internet. That is the promise of the cloud. You should be able to access anything on the cloud from anywhere on the planet. So on Windows, you can access your instance through secured socket layer or secured shell SSH using PuTTY tool. And if you are on Mac machine, you can simply use your Mac terminal because Mac has support for SSH from the terminal window. Once you create an instance, which you will do in the next lecture, it will be assigned a public DNS. Once you start it, you go here, then start an instance, you will see that you will have a public DNS and a public IP address that can be accessed from anywhere on the planet. But uh, if you stop the instance and this IP address will go away and next time you start this intense instance, a new IP address will show up. If you want a permanent IP address, then you will have to create an elastic IP which for which you will be charged for. Just to learn AWS, just to use EC2 instances, you don't have to use an elastic IP, but in real-time environments, all the instances will have an elastic IP or a static IP address. So instance will allow you to create whichever machines you want on the fly and uh, AWS EC2 uses AMI, which is Amazon Machine Image. You pick an image, launch, launch an instance, which is all a super easy process, seven step simple process, which you will do in the next lecture. So using EC2, you can create instances or machines in few seconds.